Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, this will bring up some controversy, I am sure. But they're saying that the ozone hole above Antarctica is now at the smallest size it's ever been recorded and it's not related to global warming. The ozone hole above Antarctica, where the sun's harmful ultraviolet UV rays burst through the otherwise sunscreen stratosphere, has shrunk to its smallest size on record going back to 1982. Scientists have found what they just now found it. I'm sure they're watching it 24 hours a day. Typically at this time of year, the hole in the ozone a layer made of molecules containing three oxygen atoms. Typically it grows to about 8 million square miles, 20 million square kilometers, NASA said. And that's bigger than the size of Russia, and Russia is huge. But unusually warm weather in the southern hemisphere means that the hole only extended less than 3.9 million square miles, 10 million square kilometers, for most of September until now, according to a statement from NASA. This warming that occurred is great news for the southern hemisphere because the ozone is going to be higher and UV ultraviolet levels will be lower. Paul Newman, chief scientist for Earth Sciences at NASA's Goodard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, told Live Science. They're also saying that the polar solar vortex seen in red over the South Pole, which was unusually wonky this year. That shouldn't come as a surprise, seeing how we've had some really wonky weather, very unusual weather too, haven't we? Here's how it works. During the winter months in the Southern Hemisphere, clouds form in the stratosphere, which extends from 6 to 31 miles um, above the Earth's surface. There, even the smallest amount of visible light from the sun breaks apart chlorine gas into chlorine atoms. Those atoms are considered reactive and can chemically destroy ozone molecules. So the ozone hole over Antarctica tends to be much bigger in the southern winter. Another thing they don't tell us is that the hole in the ozone layer shrank 75 percent in just 12 months. When temperatures above Antarctica start to warm up, the polar clouds in the stratosphere dissipate, meaning that there's no place for those ozone annihilating chemical reactions to take place. This year, exceptionally warm weather put the Knicks on ozone smashing, keeping that ozone hole super small. This is as small as we were seeing back in the early 1980s, Newman said. The ozone hole was so small that it wasn't even discovered until 1985. The ozone busting chlorine gas mainly comes from chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, that were manufactured until the US began banning it in 1986. Even so, some types of CFCs can stay in the atmosphere for more than 100 years, Newman said. If higher temperatures are good for the ozone layer, does that mean that hole will get even smaller as humans pump greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the atmosphere? Not quite, Newman said. Turns out carbon dioxide has the opposite effect in the stratosphere as it does in the layer closer to the ground called the troposphere. The CO2 in the stratosphere absorbs and then emits that heating out into space. Newman explained, adding that this layer of the atmosphere is cooling off. So the atmosphere is cooling off, the ozone hole is smaller than it was ever, and it wasn't discovered until 1985, it's smaller than it was in 1980. Well that throws a monkey wrench into all these protests from these uh, young environmentalists, don't it? I guess we shouldn't tell them. You know, I believe that a lot of the earth changes, like with the jet stream, earthquakes, volcanoes, the CO2 that was much higher during the time of dinosaurs and the plants just loved it, is all being caused by the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. But I guess scientists really don't know what's going on, huh? It's just making um, hypothetical guesses, right? So what are they going to blame the ne next ice age on? What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.